Kangaroo Care Women and Children Hospitals and Fertility Center. Hello everybody. My name is Dr. Nandita Nandakumar. I am a neonatologist and I am head of neonatal department in Kangaroo Care Hospital Mysore. Today I will be talking about uh, a very common but an important topic which is newborn jaundice. Jaundice as we know is a yellowish uh, uh, discoloration or pigmentation of the skin and can also be seen in eyes and sometimes in the mouth. Uh, majority of newborns um, get jaundice, so nearly two-thirds of the newborns get jaundice at some point in their, you know, in their newborn period and only a, a few percentage, probably about 10 to 15 percentage of such babies require treatment. Jaundice is caused by um, an excess um, uh, pigmentation, uh, yellow pigmentation in, in the blood called as bilirubin and this bilirubin is uh, uh, released when red blood cells in the baby's blood is broken down. This yellow pigment which is the bilirubin is usually taken up by the baby's liver and it's metabolized and it's excreted uh, either in the urine or in the stools. Uh, but sometimes when the load of this bilirubin is excessive then the baby's immature liver is unable to handle this load and hence this uh, gets deposited on the skin and causes yellowish discoloration. Um, there are several causes of uh, jaundice okay? and as I said majority of the babies tend to get jaundice in their newborn period. This is what we call as physiological jaundice and it usually tends to happen around day 2, day 3 of life and it peaks around a week of age and then by the time the baby is about 10 to 14 days of age uh, the jaundice normalizes. However, if a baby becomes jaundiced within the first 24 hours of birth or if the jaundice persists beyond 2-3 to three weeks of life then this would need investigating. Some of the common causes of jaundice uh, would include um, blood group incompatibilities. So if a mother is um, say Rh negative and a baby is Rh positive blood group then this uh, what normally happens is a mom produces certain antibodies or what we call as chemicals which would go and attack the baby's red blood cells and causes excessive destruction of these blood cells. So when the blood cells are um, destroyed, as I said, they release this yellow bilirubin pigment. Okay. Uh, some babies who are born prematurely and also who are low birth weight, for instance less than 2.5, less than 2 kg, even they tend to have a higher risk of jaundice so and they would require treatment for jaundice. Um, there are other uh, conditions where uh, a baby can become jaundiced and would require treatment and such can causes may include um, infections in the babies, some rare blood disorders, liver problems um, and again if a baby is not fed properly, if the baby becomes dehydrated, if uh, feeding is an issue and even then the jaundice can get worse. Um, the treatment of jaundice um, would include um, making sure that the baby is adequately fed and hydrated and the specific treatment for jaundice is phototherapy so wherein a baby is admitted to the hospital and is placed under blue lights which specifically targets this yellow pigment and uh, it, it helps the baby to uh, get this yellow pigment out of the body through either urine or stools. Okay. Uh, in very very rare occasions um, sometimes we may have to do an exchange transfusion meaning we'll have to take the baby's blood out and transfuse with a donor's uh, blood if, if the bilirubin levels are extremely high. The problem of leaving jaundice uh, untreated um, can cause um, uh, damage or uh, problems with, with the brain, problems with hearing. So and, and some, in very rare occasions it can also cause death. So it's important that whenever um, you are concerned about your baby's feeding, if you look at the baby's skin and if you think that it looks yellow, it's, uh, make sure that you get the baby reviewed by your pediatrician. So they would see the baby, assess the baby's feeding, the weight gain and also the level of jaundice which can be tested uh, using uh, blood tests uh, and they would advise you accordingly. So whenever you are concerned about a baby, kindly get uh, the baby reviewed by the doctor.